How can we as high school teachers best promote our students to take notes? Whether it is when we teach science, technology, engineering, or math, or should I include the arts? What are the best note-taking practices? Of course, back when I was in school, we all simply took notes on paper. Perhaps we'd enhance our notes with colors or markers. Maybe we used sticky notes. But in this day and age, most of our students simply have a digital device. At our school, we have the Google Suite, so most of our students simply come to school with their Chromebook. And Chromebooks are compatible with Google Classroom. So you can see here my classes, two sections of chemistry, a section of AP Chemistry, a section of AP Biology, and I also teach two sections of Biology Lab. So this past summer, I was really thinking about what tools to use, analog paper or digital, using Google Keep for my note-taking strategies with my students. So you see here a screenshot of my son uh, who did a podcast with me in which I explained to him what my plan was for the upcoming school year. In this video, I will tell you about my experience with Google Keep in my classroom. And I will also go into the research, what are the best note taking and then perhaps note making strategies for our high school students to get them better prepared for after high school when they might go into college. So you're seeing here some screenshots of notes that I've taken. These are all colored in green using Google Keep, and this is for my AP Biology class. If you'd like to get more help with how to exactly guide your students through the Google Keep note-taking process, check out my video above, in which I go into great detail about this exact thing. The advantage of Google Keep is that you can simply add a color. So different class, different color. This is for my biology lab. Another thing that you can do with Google Keep is that you can program it to have a note reappear at a later time, maybe with a quiz or a test in mind or some other assignment, certain notes that are related to certain concepts. You can choose them to reappear at a given date. I do a lot of Pear Deck in my classes, which enables students to write on my slides. And then with Google Keep, they can simply insert a screenshot, say from Pear Deck or any image from online and import it right into their Google Keep note. So here you're actually seeing such a screenshot, but you can also see, enhanced in the circle, that you can add a collaborator to a note. So let's say a student is not present in your class. I, for example, had a student that was gone for an entire fall semester overseas and one student that was in my class during that whole time was simply sharing all the chemistry notes with this student overseas. So the reason that I started with Google Keep is you can color enhance your notes, you can share them, you can take screenshots and bring them right into the Google Keep note, and you can program them for a note to reappear at a later time. Another convenient added benefit is that if you're within a Google Doc, say you're assigning something to the students that involves a Google document, you can actually go inside Google Doc and there's the Google Keep icon and it allows you to search your notes and then simply import them within the Google Doc. So for example, a note on the history of the atom, you can find it within the Google Doc by clicking on the Google Keep icon and then simply drag it over into the Google Doc. So as I was thinking about making this video about high school student note taking, nothing better than to ask my own students in my classroom, which is exactly what I did. This was their prompt presented to them within a Google form if they could give some feedback on their digital note taking experience in my classroom. Of course, it really helped that I added about five homework points to it. Every single student of mine finished it within 10 minutes. So I'm first going to share with you three key highlighted comments from this survey. So students clearly love that it's very organized. It's easily accessible. Uh, it might help them studying for the exam. Um, but there is that caveat that 
they're more on the screen as a result of taking their notes in a digital way. Another student is emphasizing that the screenshots are very handy. You're able to search for your notes by simply typing in a keyword. But does it really help with the studying? Just taking these notes in this way. We're going to get to that. And my third and last comment that I'm going to share with you from a student is some suggestions to really help organize the notes in Google Keep by using some color coding. Uh, maybe not so much for me, different colors for different classes, but maybe for the student themselves, different colors for, as this student says, for different units. I wouldn't be a science teacher if I didn't also share some quantitative data with you. So I have 24 students in my two chemistry classes. 75% of them simply loved Google Keep or whatever digital note-taking system. But again, I promoted Google Keep in my classroom. 4%, that would be one student, thought it would be best to kind of choose between the digital and then also go into paper note-taking. So kind of a balance in between the two. And five students of mine, out of the 24, that would be 21%, absolutely did not like Google Keep, which is their full right. In this slide, I've added my nine AP Chemistry students, and I've tallied them right along with the 24 Chemistry students. 24 plus nine, that would be 33 students total. Again, I teach at a very small school. And now you see that the digital note-taking favorability drops from 75 to 58% still in the majority, and it's about a 50-50 in between for students that prefer to do both and for students that just want to do things on paper. The interesting thing that I'll share with you is that most of the responders that say they want to do it on paper, they're still using the computer, even though there's paper in my room and writing utensils. In summary, with respect to this survey, when it comes to digital note-taking, Organization is absolutely an advantage, according to the feedback that I've gotten from my students. Speed, you tend to type faster than you can write, and that was considered to be an advantage. Another advantage was storage. The notes are stored digitally. You can't lose it as easily as you might lose paper. And they really did like to be able to take screenshots from things that they've drawn on Pear Deck, for example, or images from the internet and bring it over into their notes, into their digital notes. My students responded the following as the advantage to taking notes on paper. You might memorize things better when you actually put pen to paper, when you're going the longhand way. You're definitely going to use less screen if you don't use a screen to take your notes. And one student thought, well, if I've got it right in my notebook, right in my backpack, I don't need to open and turn on my device. My notes are right there. And again, the advice was maybe color coding those units so that the whole digital notes don't look so messy, which they definitely tend to do in Google Keep, overwhelming all those sticky notes on the screen. Let's talk a little bit about the units. What you're seeing here is my Google Drive. And at the top, you see my first folder, Storylines, and then the classical chemistry units from safety measurements and math, all the way to the atom, periodic table bonding, all the way to redox and engineering and design. These are your traditional uh, chemistry units, but I'm moving now from those classical units into storylines. Check out the video above in which I go in detail about my storyline experience and check the link below if you would like to get your set of handouts with the key related to these storylines. So from a storyline perspective, it's not so much about the classical units, it's really the concepts that we want our students to learn. And that is what is emphasized in my folder organization, not so much titled by unit, but titled by the concepts that I'm covering in the given weeks of the school year. So digital note-taking versus longhand note-taking. 
what does the research say outside of the small school that I teach? This study from research.com has lots of references that are from peer-reviewed journals, all linked in the description below, states the following. So this really pertains to college students. There's not a lot that you can find, particularly about high school note-taking, but if college students walk in with their laptop versus actual pen and paper, they tend to take a lot more notes word for word, that is verbatim, as opposed to the students that are using pen and paper. Less words are actually copied literally from what the teacher or the professor is actually saying. And that might mean longhand note-taking is better because that way you remember more because your brain is processing what the teacher is saying and what you should actually write down. And since you can't keep up with it, you're writing down less. Okay, so why longhand note making may be better? What are some other ways to turn the note taking into note making? Because that's where the learning comes in. What you're seeing here is a Google Doc, a screenshot of a Google Doc with one particular note transferred into it from Google Keep. And it's a note about various experiments that have led to the enhanced understanding of the atom. And so in my classroom, as we were getting ready to review about the concept, the atom, the following question came up. Which experiments have contributed to our understanding of the atom? So with the notes at hand, my students can then use those notes to actually come up with their own answer and they're writing that in their own words underneath that question. So now we've turned the note taking process, the original jotting down the concept in their Google Keep or whatever digital platform they might prefer into a note making process because they're now distilling that note into their own words and they will remember it better. So really what it comes down to is we have the note taking, whether that's done on paper or in digital form, on paper, perhaps even using so-called Cornell notes. So how can we best facilitate the note taking to note making? One student's feedback I did not share with you until now. And the feedback from this student was the following. How can we connect all the different notes that we've taken? And so there is a program out there that allows one to link notes, whether it's within a course, whether it's across courses, or whether it's across vastly different disciplines. So how can you link the notes that share certain ideas? Well, let's first take a quick look at the best note-taking apps, supposedly, of 2023. We can see the various icons. I can see there Google Keep. I see some other note-taking apps, including Notion, Rome Research. But the one that I would like to have you focus on is Obsidian. This is a not-so-flattering picture of my son, Aiden Helfand. Uh, school is killing, well, maybe him. So... Why am I putting up my son here? He is coming out together with his business partner, John Maverick, with a digital course called Obsidian University. What's the advantage of this course? This is particularly geared towards those high school students that are ready to take that dive into the college note-taking and note-making experience. If you have AP students that are definitely ready to take it to the next step, they might be interested in this particular course. It gives you a tool how to best take notes during college and turn those notes into linked concepts. I'm sharing with you here a link to this video above where Aiden actually explains why this Obsidian University is such a excellent tool to help students with their note-taking and note-making experience during their college years. To summarize, in this video, I have shared with you my own personal experience in my classroom, where I teach chemistry, AP Chem, AP Bio, and BioLab, using Google Keep as the digital app. Take-home message, 
Digital Notes was definitely among the favorite systems, whether that's Google Keep or the student's favorite digital app. But learning will only happen if you then process those notes. If you turn the note taking practice into a note making practice. And then the next level up would be to actually link those notes across the different classes, across the different disciplines. I hope you learned something from this video that you might wish to apply with your students. Thank you so much for watching. Bedankt voor het kijken. Tot ziens and see you in the next video.